When he was drawing the plans for his machines, Professor Mac 1 hardly ever used straight lines. If a line turned out straight, it was really an accident. And his circles had an unfortunate tendency to look more like knobbly potatoes. As for his squares and rectangles, don't even ask. This explained why most of his machines looked pretty cockeyed. Maxmatic was sure that he could greatly improve the professor's plans if he could program the squircator to draw straight lines, round circles, and square squares. Uh, we won't go into detail about the programs that Maxmatic had to write for this job, but you should know that every point is defined by what are called its coordinates, meaning its distance in relation to the left-hand side and its distance from the bottom of a sheet of paper, for example. So all Maxmatic had to do was store the coordinates of two points in the memory, and the squircator could draw perfect straight lines, circles, and squares. This let the professor design much less cockeyed machines. For his squircator, Maxmatic gave this system the name CAD, which stands for Computer Aided Design. Then he thought, if the plans for the machine were loaded in the squircator, it could control a robot to build the machine. This he called robotics. And you want to know something? It worked. All this he called CAD CAM, for computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacturing. Who knows? Maybe one day the Squircator could build a whole assembly line of other Squircators.